Human-animal hybrids seem like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. However, it's not that far from reality either. Humans have come a long way in science and technology. Even though we're yet to see a centaur, scientists have managed to create some crazy looking creatures. From replacing human organs with animal organs to half human, half animal creatures, here are the lists of human animal hybrids that really exist. Most of us jump in fear or disgust when we see a mouse. But what if I tell you that they can one day help you look nice? Plastic surgeons often have a hard time reconstructing the human ear because of its delicate nature. A team of Harvard and MIT scientists decided to help them with it in a very interesting way in 1997. Rodents and humans don't usually go well together, but these scientists found a way to use the mouse to develop a human ear that can later be transplanted onto a human. They put a human ear-shaped biodegradable scaffolding inside of a mouse. As time passes, the material will be absorbed into the mouse's body and it will make an actual human ear. But they had to pull the plugs on the experiment because of funding issues. Maybe someday we will have human ears made by our little mouse friends. Some of us have not learned our lessons from the Planet of the Apes movies and it shows. We share 98% of our DNA with chimpanzees and maybe that's what makes it so tempting to experiment with them for human hybrids. In the 1920s, Soviet biologist Ilya Ivanov tried to make a human chimpanzee hybrid by artificially inseminating female chimpanzees with human sperm. The pregnancies didn't take though. I can't say I'm mad at that. If we've learned anything from the sci-fi movies, it's that trying to experiment with chimpanzees like that is never a good idea. Another chimp called Oliver was thought to be a human chimp hybrid animal in the 1970s when he was caught walking upright. Genetic testing later disproved that theory. That didn't stop people from calling it a human Z, a Chuman, or a Chuman Z. Do you have any other names? Share with us in the comments. If you've ever had a baby or seen one being raised, you know that breast milk is the only recommended food for these cute little people for at least the first six months. But let's be honest, it's not easy to produce and breastfeed a baby for a woman. So it's no surprise that some crazy scientist somewhere tried to figure out a way to produce human milk in some weird way. Scientists from Russia and Belarus tried their luck with producing breast milk from genetically modified goats. Although it wasn't 100% human milk, it was about 60% similar. It wouldn't be a significant scientific experiment without China also trying their hand on it, and so they did. They made a herd of 300 genetically modified cattle. Their goal was to put human milk on store shelves. The craziness doesn't stop there. The Russian team decided to step up their game by advertising tasty human milk made cheese. Would you like a bite? Let us know in the comments below. We all love the popular kids show Peppa Pig for its pink talking human like pigs. Well, scientists at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota are close to creating an actual Peppa. They were able to pump human DNA through a pig's vein. What makes these animals terrifying though is not only do they have human cells flowing separately with pig blood cells, but also some of the cells merge together, making actual pig-human cell hybrids. The goal of the experiment is to understand how diseases from bizarre animals, like HIV from monkeys, get into human bodies. It seems like mice are the victims of most human experiments. Wiseman and his team decided to transplant human brain stem cells into mice brains. They wanted to study neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's through the process. In the beginning, the mouse brain was only 1% similar to a human brain. The study has come a long way since then. Stanford researchers claim they successfully transformed mouse skin cells into fully functioning neurons in 2010. The interesting thing is, they also claim to have found the solutions to human hearing loss through stem cell research by developing sensory cells. Even though they have the potential to help, many of these human hybrid experiments are seriously blurring the line between humans and animals. Take the next story for example. It's one thing to put a human ear on a mouse's back. It's a completely different story to put human brain cells inside a mouse or a monkey. 
That's a recipe for a uh, future mouse or monkey uprising. But that didn't stop these scientists from putting human brain cells into mice or monkeys. The team that used mice as their medium of craziness later admitted it had ethical issues and stopped their experiment. Yale University did not step back though, and they put human neural stem cells into five monkeys. The goal was to see if it would affect Parkinson's disease in the monkeys. Their condition improved because of it. They could eat and move better than before. They had fewer tremors without any tumors or side effects. But this whole unusual experiment came with a wide range of uneasy questions. The human cells merged with the monkey cells and changed their behavior. The cell amount was small enough to not cause any serious change, but it makes us wonder what could happen if the cells were in a larger amount. A mouse or monkey apocalypse? Let us know what you think in the comments. Not everyone can enjoy the cute and cuddly company of cats because of their allergies to our feline friends. Feline FelD1 protein found in cat saliva is the one to blame here. Cats constantly lick themselves and that transfers the saliva to their fur and then the saliva turns to dust, transferring it to the air around them. Scientific geniuses at the University of California were set out to resolve the barrier between the love of humans and these cute cuddly bundles of joy. They mixed FelD1 protein with a human protein that helps us fight allergies. They fused that into a crossbreed mixed cat. It works by binding the feline protein to immune cells with human proteins that help calm the immune cells down. It managed to reduce the allergic reactions in mice and the researchers are hopeful that one day it might help humans too. Organ harvesting is the main purpose of most of the human-animal hybrids. Many concerns about the morality of such experiments did not stop scientists from playing with the idea. After creating 186 embryos of pig-human hybrids, they are now working on a sheep-human hybrid. But these hybrid animals are only kept alive for 28 days. These animal organs are only 0.01% similar to human ones. Even though it is a step towards success, Hiromitsu Nakauchi admitted that it is not enough to be considered transplant organs. In his opinion, genetically modified pigs got us closer to achieving our goals. Some part of the experiment was caught on tape for further study. Another team of science experts across the world also tried to harvest transplantable organs from sheep and came a long way since the experiment done by Hiromitsu Nakauchi. The University of Reno, Nevada assigned a team to genetic engineer chimeras to grow human organs for organ transplant. Dr. Ishmael Zanjani claimed that they can grow livers that will have a near 20% match with human liver using sheep. He injected human stem cells taken from bone marrow or human embryonic stem cells into sheep fetuses. He went with sheep because, in his opinion, the circulatory system of sheep and humans are somewhat similar. Sheep aren't the only option for growing or experimenting with the human liver. Like many other tests, mice can come in handy here too. Some researchers replaced 95% of the cells of the liver of a mouse that was having liver problems with human cells. In the picture, you can see the cluster that was replaced with human cells. Rodents usually shouldn't get infected with hepatitis because of their small body. Hepatitis is only seen in humans and chimps. Surprisingly, this humanized mouse not only got infected, but also responded to the treatments. According to the scientists, this opened a new door for human liver treatments for things like malaria. That blue thing you see is the nucleus of a cow egg that was replaced with a human cell. This weird experiment was done by British researchers in 2008 in an attempt to find a cure for Parkinson's disease. Initially, they were only allowed to use human cells for the research. After they argued that animal eggs are way more available, they got permission to use them. The researchers went with cow eggs for some reason. If you've ever had external hemorrhoids, God bless you. Those can be extremely painful. But what if I told you tiny mice can also help with those and other uncomfortable anal diseases? Some researchers were pleasantly surprised when they saw that their bioengineered anal sphincters work perfectly on mice. They made the sphincters with human nerves and grafted them onto animal bodies. Those could generate their own blood supply and fuse into the flesh. The mice could even relax and contract them naturally. The scientists are hoping to custom make them for the patients with their own skin and nerves and make a successful transplant. 
It may sound a little gross, but hey, it's at least better than suffering from excruciating pain from hell and death. I doubt anyone wants to see chimps walking around with human eggs or human monkey hybrid children. The goal of this team of USA scientists is not to create new breeds of monsters either, but their activities make one question the intention. They claim they're just trying to harvest human organs for transplants and to observe how cells from different organisms interact with each other. No matter what their intentions are, we only have one intention, and that is to keep bringing interesting videos like this to you. Help us succeed by hitting the like and subscribe button. Rabbits are adorable creatures on their own, but when they start having human features, that creates a terrifying animal-human hybrid. This crazy experimentation with Mother Nature has been a part of the USA-China scientific rat race. Both the superpowers were trying to create a human-animal hybrid, but only the Shanghai science team pulled it off. They fused human cells into rabbit eggs and successfully created the embryos of a terrifying part-human, part-rabbit creature. The USA also tried its hand at it. Unfortunately, none of their hybrids survived. The amazing fact is that not only was the Chinese creation unique, but also the majority of the cells were human cells. It was way more human and less rabbit. We all love and adore dogs. They are arguably a man's best friend. Sometimes people even like them a little bit too much. Too much to actually try and create a half woman, half dog hybrid. This terrifying photo of the animal took over the internet and got into many people's inboxes. The pic also came with some short messages, some funny and some not so much. Some texts warned about the horrible consequences of genetic manipulation. No need to be too afraid though, this picture is obviously not of a real animal, but that of a sculpture by artist Patricia Pacini. This picture was a part of her We Are Family exhibition. Real or not, the picture is sure to give anyone a nightmare. Which hybrid surprised you the most? Do you think it's ethical to conduct such experiments? Share your views with us in the comments. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comments section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take good care of yourself.